Hey guys, how you doing? So we've done two videos now on surviving SAM sites. We've talked about getting low to the ground, using terrain masking, and we've talked about beaming. Uh, now I thought we could do a video where we tie those two concepts together and we perform a SEAD or a wild weasel type mission. Uh, for those of you that don't know, a SEAD mission is a suppression of enemy air defenses. And in order to do that, I'm going to need an aircraft that's capable of that. Uh, unfortunately, the F-18 Hornet has not reached that level of uh, development yet. So we're going to have to dust off the Harrier for today. I haven't flown the Harrier since the Hornet came out, maybe a little bit longer than that. So it'll be interesting for me for sure. See what I remember. I'm surprised I even managed to take off with it. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get started and uh, see what we can do here. All right, so we're heading towards the SAM site now. Uh, you can see that it's directly in front of us here. It's already picking us up. Um, yeah, I'm just going to continue forward towards it uh, until it decides to fire a missile, and then we're going to enter a beam, try to survive that missile launch and continually try to get closer and closer until we can kill it. Okay, there's the tone for missile incoming. I'm going to bank to the left, and I'm just going to go 90 degrees, and I'm going to enter that beam. I'm going to keep my cool. It's a little stressful when you got that tone going. There we go, we've entered the beam. Now I will drop the chaff. See that missile launch off in the distance there? There you go, tone's gone. Trash those missiles. I'm going to turn back towards the site. You can see it's picking me up again. And I'm just going to try to get closer and closer to it. Continue to push forward until it fires on me again. Okay, there's the next launch. I'm going to bank to the right, and I'm going to again go for the 90 degree beam. I'm going to keep my cool, keep my cool. There we go. We've entered the beam. Now I'm just going to drop some chaff. And hopefully we can see some missiles explode here. because they should lose track and they should explode behind us theoretically. Yep, there it is. You see that? All right, so I'm just going to bank towards the site again. Okay, so at this point, uh, the SAM site is behind the mountains there, so it's not going to be able to pick me up, and I'm also not going to be able to get a lock on it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pull my nose up.
you can see I'm getting something. I got a lock. There's that lock. I'm just going to pull my nose over. I'm going to go right to the edge of those mountains so I can get the best distance. I can get the best range on it. And I'm going to fire it and I already got my plan. I'm going to bank right and I'm going to dip under these mountains. Alright, so in case it fires on me, I want to hide behind the mountain here. And theoretically, when that missile hits the uh, search radar, that tone should stop. There you go, tone stops. So, yeah, pretty safe to say we got that sight. Now I'm going to turn around and just uh, go and fly over it just to prove that it's dead. We'll go have a look, just confirm our kill here. Alright, so you can see I have no more tone on my RWR because the uh, SAM site can't search for anything, right? I blew up its, uh, its search radar. You can see off in the distance there that little smoke. That's a successful kill. So now that site's completely open for anyone else who wants to come and finish it off. And if I had bombs, I'd do it myself. But yeah, that SAM site is out of operation. Let's head over to the TAC view. Alright guys, as per usual we got our tack view uh, for that little thing that went down. Here we go, we're going to enter that missile envelope momentarily and basically as soon as I enter this he fires off his missiles. So here they come, there's two of them. What I'm going to do is do my 90, degrees off, my 90 degree offset and I'm going to enter my beam here. going to change this to the SAM site, the track radar, or the search radar, sorry. Okay, so here we go. You can see I'm in my 90 degree, my beam, and if I switch it to the SAM site, you can actually see TAC view says beaming. All right, so let's just back up a little bit and switch it back to myself. And okay, so once we've entered the beam here, you can see I'm dropping my chaff. As soon as I start drop, dropping that chaff, you can see the missile starts to, to go for the chaff. If I didn't drop this chaff, uh, I'd be wasting my time. That missile would still be tracking and it would probably kill me. Alright, so as we talked about before, enter the beam, drop chaff, maintain the beam until the missile tone goes away. Alright, and then we're going to turn towards the SAM site. I'm going to take this opportunity to get closer to it. Uh, while it's figuring out what's going on, if it killed me or not, whatever. I'm just going to use that uh, precious few seconds to push closer because I do have to get in range to hit him with my sidearm. Alright, now right around here as we get a little closer within about 24, 23 kilometers, he's going to fire off a second volley. And there's two more coming now and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before except this time I'm just going to do it to the right. No particular reason why. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go to the right, enter the beam, and there's the chaff. Okay, you see, watch those missiles. I'm going to rewind it a little bit. Watch what happens the second that the, that chaff gets dropped. I'm going to slow it down, chaff. Watch those missiles. There they go. See that? Instantly, as soon as you enter the beam and you drop the chaff, they go for the chaff. All right, and just to prove it, we're going to go back to the SAM site. You can see it says beaming again. I'm going to go back to ourselves here. Those missiles are going to realize in a second once that chaff disperses that they messed up. They're going to self-detonate. There they go. All right, so now at this point, I'm pretty clear to uh, head towards the, the SAM site. Now, I do gain a little bit of altitude here. That's just because I want to give my uh, sidearm something to lock onto. And also when I fire the sidearm, I want to make sure it's not going to hit the side of a mountain. So I just want to get a little bit of altitude to make sure it clears it, just to be safe. 
And I also have a plan, right? As soon as I fire that sidearm, I know I'm going to break and I'm going to try to hide behind a mountain in case he fires another one. I'm really close, right? So there's that sidearm, there's my break, I'm going to hide behind a mountain. And that thing is now homing in on the, the search radar of the SA-6. And theoretically, once it hits it, this red line should go away because it won't be able to track anymore. Or sorry, it won't be able to search anymore. And there it goes. All right, so you can see the line's gone. That SA-6 site is now completely useless. If I had bombs, I could come and just bomb it. Um, if there was another F-18 or something around here, uh, it could come and kill that site. It doesn't really matter at this point. That site might as well just be a paperweight at this point. Okay, and just to prove that, I fly over it just to show that it's not going to fire on me. All right, and there it is. All right, guys, so that's going to be the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're just tying together all the concepts here. Uh, I hope that at least you found it entertaining. Maybe you learned something, maybe you didn't. Let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.